Longmont. My name is Karen Stallard. I'm the membership director with the Longmont Area Chamber of Commerce. The Longmont Chamber has been working hard to support our local businesses and connect the community during this challenging time because we don't think that being physically distanced means that we can't still socially connect and support one another. So I'd like to tag in Jessica Wanasek, the Chamber Event Director, to tell you a little bit about what we've been up to. Hey everyone, so the Longmont Chamber of Commerce has been hosting daily Facebook Live events Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. over on our Chamber Facebook page. We are featuring a local business or a nonprofit while having fun interactive activities, giveaways, and just connecting with our community. We wanted to share the fun with you after the fact, so we are airing all of our episodes from last week with you here now so you can enjoy. And we hope that you see some familiar faces from around Longmont. And remember, if you ever want to see the live thing, just tune into the Chamber Facebook page at 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Or check out a themed list of businesses over on our Chamber website. www.longmontchamber.org forward slash Longmont is open. And find a business that you would like to support. Enjoy the show! Hi, everybody. I'm so excited to ha have you guys be watching today. Um, we would like to welcome you guys all to Tuesday's Tunes and Arts um, with the Longmont Chamber of Commerce. My name is Jessica Wanasek, and I am the event director over at the Longmont Chamber of Commerce. Um, just like some of our business owners who have had to pivot and adapt to how they are running their operations uh, during this crazy time, um, we have done it as well. So today, um, as part of our ongoing Facebook Live campaign that we just kicked off yesterday, um, I would like to, I'm so excited, um, Crackpots in Longmont is one of my favorite places to go. And uh, today I have the owner of Crackpots. Her name is Tamar Hendricks, and she is joining us. And let me get her on here with me. There hi. she is. Say hi, Tamar. Hello. So we are so excited to have you on with us today. So excited Can to be you? here. <laughs> <laughs> so um, like I said, we are doing this just to help highlight um, our businesses in Longmont who have had to kind of adapt and, and change the way that they're running operations during this time. And um, Longmont has such a strong art scene. Um, so it was kind of fitting that we had Crackpots on today as one of our very first um, Tuesday Tunes and Art. So we are excited. Um, so as most of you guys know, Crackpots is located at 5th and Main in Longmont. Is that correct? Right, right. 501, 505 Main Street. Very good. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit about Crackpots? Um, how long have you guys been in business? We've been in downtown Longmont 19 years. We actually just celebrated our 19th birthday on April 21st, so just a week ago. Um, yeah, we've been downtown. Um, typically, we're a walk-in business, but um, we've kind of had to change <laughs> for temporary. Yeah. We, we get that, right? But you're still, I mean, you have some kind of exciting stuff coming up, I think. Um, so you're not physically open now. But you are also, um, right now you're offering something for everybody who's at home right now. All of the kids are at home. Everybody's at home and um, wanting to get out some of their artistic expressions. So share a little bit about what you guys are offering to the folks at home. Yeah, so we just started um, offering again for curbside pickup um, to go kits or at home kits, we're calling them because you can paint at home. Um, we supply you with what you need to paint. Um, we have um, you order online and uh, we have a selection of pottery to choose from. And then we'll supply you with the item and some paints and um, and then you can paint it at home and then um, return it to us and we'll glaze and fire it. Um, we have all kinds of things that we're gonna be doing that for, so that you can have an activity to do on Mother's Day or make something for graduates, um, all kinds of stuff. Right, very good. I know we don't wanna forget about our poor seniors who I know. Their, their year has been kind of crazy towards the end, but yeah, we don't yeah. wanna forget about that. Um, so just a little quick note to everybody who is tuning in with us today. 
Um, we are giving away, um, Tamar has so graciously offered a $25 e-card, e-gift card um, that we're going to give away to one of you lucky viewers. So what we want you to do is um, before Tamar sets up to do a fun little demonstration, we want you guys to go hunt down um, a piece of pottery that you guys have painted back uh, when Crackpots was open and take a picture of that or show us in the comments. Or if you haven't been to uh, Crackpots, um, we want you to let us know what is something that you guys would want to paint when they are open. So make sure you are putting those in the comments and we're going to draw from one of you lucky winners uh, towards the end of today's live session. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to give them a few minutes uh, tomorrow to do that. So in the meantime, um, I would like to let everybody know to stop and visit your website, which they can go to www.ecrackpots.com, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And um, you can find all kinds of goodies over there of um, the fun potteries and things that are available. And then also it talks a lot about your at-home kit, correct? Right. Okay. And then um, are you guys also, now I saw something about a Strongmont bracelet. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so before we, uh, we just wanted to get on board because we love Longmont. Um, we've been here a long time. And so um, the Strongmont movement has been really um, fun and good to just remind people that we're going to get through this in the long run. And so um, we have these um, bracelets that I'm making <laughs> um, to order. Um, they're custom made and um, you can order them as well on our, from our website and then we'll make them and you can either come pick them up now that we're going to be doing curbside pickup or you can have them delivered or yeah. So they are awesome by the way. I love them. And now are they, um, is it, you can get them in what silver and gold? And um, is there they're, actually there, it's a stamped metal. So it's either aluminum, which is a silver color brass and, or, um, copper. So it's a stamped Ooh, metal. Yeah. So it's either silver toned or the gold tone is kind of like a brass. I'm all on. I want the brass one. Just save me <laughs> one. Okay. <laughs> right. I'll make it. <laughs> Well, I think we've given people a little bit of time to, to make sure to comment. You guys, we're going to do a drawing towards the end. So if, if we don't see your comment, we're not going to know that you're here. So let us know that Tamar, you know, let Tamar and I know that you're here and you're watching. Um, and with that, I am actually going to turn this over to Tamar and she is going to do a, a fun demonstration for us. Okay, take it away, Tamar. Sounds good. So um, I wanted to do a quick demonstration of something that you could do at home, um, a technique like so that if you did order um, one of our at home kits, you could do this. Just so you know, in case you aren't familiar, we have a couple mugs available online. Um, we have some vases, which this in particular is good for a handprint, not my hand, but is good for a handprint. Um, for Mother's Day, um, we have quite a few like herb planters and all kinds of things to choose from um, for the at-home kits. Um, and since um, things are a little different in terms of firing, we're suggesting this more as a activity to do on Mother's Day, as opposed to trying to get it back as a gift for Mother's Day. So it's a fun activity that you can do together as a family. Um, and so one of the, um, favorite techniques that we do during our summer camps often goes along with learning about Jackson Pollock is our splatter technique. And it seems super easy and it is. However, getting the right technique is important so that you get an awesome splatter. So um, I have a mug right here and we'll provide the paints and the pottery. Um, you would need just a box, any shipping box that you have at home. We call this our splatter box and all the campers who have done splattering know that they can ask for that at Crackpots. Um, a paper plate is helpful so that you can spin your piece without touching all the splatter. And you simply put your piece into 
the splatter box so you don't um, have any um, mess in your home. One important thing, we're gonna be using our hands for this because it's always fun to get dirty. We do um, provide a brush, um, lend out a brush for you. So um, you can obviously paint your piece with a brush, but this technique, it requires getting a little dirty, which is fun. Um, all of our paints are non-toxic um, and, um, and they do wash up, although at home, I am at my home, <laughs> at home you might want to um, put something down or do this outside. So anyway, I have my paints, and the way to get a great, um, a great splatter is I'm gonna dip my three fingers right into the paint, and I've got it right on my fingers, and again, it's non-toxic and all good, and then I take my water cup, and I just get it a little bit more watery, and I'm going to go to my box and just flick it. It's a lot of fun. And then you can take the plate and turn. And you can either wash your hand off with a paper towel and get the next color. Or you can just keep the colors because they're going to mix anyway. I get a little paint on there, wet it, and flick. I'll, I'll show you in a second, a little closer up view. And I'm gonna get some colors and turn it. You would be standing in front of the box. <laughs> but as you can see, I'll hold it up closer. These are nice, fun splatters. Um, I'm gonna do it with this hand so you can see better so I'm not reaching in front. But I get my fingers, a little bit of paint on my fingers spread it around and then flick and this is kind of like our jackson pollock design um, it provides a really fun little um design on your piece so that it, when you uh if you could always put if you're doing a mother's day gift it's a fun background and then you could put a handprint or you can do the handprint first and then splatter around it it's a fun um project for kids to get to get a little dirty and make a beautiful piece. That is super cute. Oh, you can see. Oh, let me switch. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But they're fun plat. And then you can paint on top of it or you can do that as your last step just to get a good splatter. Um, so yeah, it's just a fun, simple technique that you don't need any extra tools. I know at our studio, we always have tons of different tools, um, but I wanted to come up with something that was simple and easy for you to do at home and fun. Now, this is something um, we were kind of talking about. Now, could you put stickers? Um, we were saying like maybe for, you know, um, to do something like this on Mother's Day with your children, maybe you could put like the stickers mom and then do your splattering on it or? Yeah, we had thought about, doing that um but we um you can use masking tape or blue tape to paint you know like your house you know where you would paint your house and you can yeah. tape off stripes you can tape off things um so yeah and you can spell out mom with tape if you wanted to and then you could splatter right on top of that too um there's lots of different techniques you can do um at home oh that's awesome that's awesome so while while you were working i was kind of working on one as well do you want to see it Sure. Fantastic. Look at that. Look at that splatter. I even added some stickers for, you know, Mother's Day. Look, I got a cake. <laughs> Fantastic. But I like yours better. Yours yours is way more professional. <laughs> well, and also this technique, I mean, it, you could do it on a canvas, too, if you wanted to with, at home, if you didn't have. I thought I'd do something that you could do no matter what, whether you had pottery with you or not. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. And you could do any color scheme that you wanted to. Um, we're getting some fun stuff on our comments. So I did have a question about, somebody had a question about the Strongmont bracelets. Mm -hmm. um, do they just say, is it hashtag Strongmont or um, is there an inspirational word on there? Can, can you share that? So we're just doing the Strongmont. Um, there's no hashtag, but it's just Strongmont. Strong is capital and an M-O-N-T is lowercase. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have one right here. Um, and then lowercase. And then um, we did, 
will continue to offer metal stamping classes once we reopen. Um, oh, we'll see how um, how that looks when we can reopen. But we were offering classes and uh, like for the new year, we had people do their intentions and um, a word that was their intention for the year. So if someone wanted to do um, their own, they could take the class and come in and make their own. Right now, we're just doing the Strongmont ones just to get them out there. And, um, but yeah, we will be offering classes so they could watch for that. I love that. And the Strongmont thing seems to be taking a hold. And I think that is something that we can continue from now until, you know, far into the future. There's, there's Definitely. no stopping the Strongmont. So we love our long monsters and our, our, we're Strongmont pride. Definitely. 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 Awesome. Well, we love it. Um, I'm just seeing if there's any other questions in our comments. Let's see. Somebody, uh, Kathy Hirsch said, oh, I think I'll do a metal stamping class. <laughs> She's excited about that. Hi, Jessica Brock. Um, let's see what else. Any other questions? What a great project for my grandkids. Absolutely, Kathy. Absolutely. And that's why we wanted to bring this on today. Um, it is in, in good timing with Mother's Day right around the corner. So like Tamar said, these are this is a simple project that you guys can do together with with the kiddos or the grandkids for sure. We've got flower pots. Um, oh. We've got little animals. There's all kinds of things that you can choose. Um, a picture frame is a great idea for Mother's Day or for, it comes with the glass and the back, um, but a picture frame that you can paint however you'd like and then um, Keep a picture to remember this interesting graduation Aww. and Mother's Day. Um, but that. yeah, and you know, graduates might want um, something for their dorm room to keep their succulents in, <laughs> or paper clips. I don't know. Um, Very cool. all kinds of pottery that you can paint at home, and then we'll fire it afterwards. Oh, I love it. Okay, so for those of you guys, um, it looks like some people are having a, a an issue or a problem taking a picture and posting it. So in the comments, just let us know um, what is something that you want to paint when when crock, crack pot, sorry. I always want to say crock pots. Like I have, I have food on the brain or something. I don't know what my problem is. One, uh, thing but when we, crack pots and things. one thing that we did just recently on our Facebook was we were sharing crack pot stories and people posted some really amazing things about because it's, um, you know, some memories that they have of, you know, the pieces are end up being keepsakes that remind you of a, a time or someone you painted with. And so um, it was nice to hear that people have their own crack pot stories. <laughs> That's cool. And, and the memories that are attached to them. Those yeah. Are Love it. Love it. All right. Well, um, again, make sure you guys, we're going to get ready to do a drawing here in a second, but make sure um, stop on by at the www.ecrackpots.com. Um, if you're interested in, you can schedule um, a pickup for your at-home kit with Tamar, and she'll get that all set up for you guys. And uh, Tamar, are you ready to do a drawing? Sure. Okay. So let's see how many, we've got... 28 viewers watching us right now. So let's go. Why don't you pick a random number between 1 and 28? Uh, 17. 17. All right. Hang on one second. Let me go here. Oh, should I have chosen a lower number? <laughs> <laughs> And it is Kathy Mason Hirsch is our winner today. Hey, Good job. So Kathy, you win uh, the $25 e-gift card. So I will contact you or I will send you um, a message just so that I can get your email and your contact information and we'll get uh, that gift card to you. So congrats. Congratulations. And we are so, <laughs> right? We know Kathy and well. She's a great, <laughs> great crackpot customer. Right? <laughs> Well, Tamar, I really want to say thank you for um, joining us today on our very first, our Creative Tuesday Tunes and Arts Live. Um, it was awesome, and hopefully it has inspired people to, you know, break out their paints, get some ideas going, and then get over there and order some pieces of, of uh, pottery at Crackpot. Thank you for having right. us. 
me. We will talk soon. And you guys get over there and order your at-home kit. Um, in the meantime, I would like to um, just say thank you so much for joining us. Um, this is a brand new live Facebook event that we're doing. We just kicked it off yesterday. We want to keep it going strong and we will continue to do this as long as it's needed. Um, we love doing it. We love connecting with the Longmont community and all of our businesses um, to see what fun and exciting and innovative ways that you are operating um, your businesses during this crazy time. Um, I also want to let everybody know, please, please tune in tomorrow at 4 p.m for our Wednesday We Shop. So we're gonna be um, doing some little bit of retail therapy tomorrow at four. So make sure to join us again. Um, share and like these videos, make sure to spread the word and we'll be doing you know daily giveaways at 4 p.m. So thanks again, everybody. Take care, mwah, mwah, mwah. stay well, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.